What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some really awesome NBA news that I'm extremely excited to actually talk to you guys about because it is now currently being reported that the Cleveland Cavaliers are extremely interested in signing Tyus Jones and DeLon Bryant in free agency and this is all being reported by Chris Fedor. Now, I'm actually really, really excited about this. Now, I don't really care about DeLon Wright. I'm going to be honest. I'm not ultimately the biggest fan of him. Um, I mean, he does his thing. Is he a backup point guard in the NBA? Is, I guess, left to be unanswered right now. I mean, he did have a pretty good season on the Atlanta Hawks, but he definitely isn't the guy that I think the Cleveland Cavaliers should be targeting out of this. It is, of course... Tyus Jones, which I have always really, really liked. I actually, a couple of years ago, doing my leagues like religiously, like most Cavs fans were when we sucked, I did trade for Tyus Jones quite a fair bit. I just believe that he kind of fit into what the Cleveland Cavaliers were trying to be. And of course, you know, the defensive game style that JB Bickerstaff plays. Now, or run, sorry. Now, I'm not exactly saying that Tyus Jones is the greatest defender out there, but for a dude who's 6'4", 183 centimeters, he damn well gives it an effort, and that's what I really, really like about him. He also manages to score 9 points per game on 4.5 assists on about 39% from 3 in. Not legitimately the most amount of minutes out there. Again, I, I still think he is a very, very solid player, and... I'm going to be completely straightforward with you guys. I actually don't think he will sign with the Cleveland Cavaliers. You might be like, well, why is that? Do you think he's going to go back to Memphis? No, I actually don't think he will pick either. I think there will be some team out there that will sign him for around $6 million per year, which I just don't know if either team can afford. For example, the Cavaliers have got a little bit of, not cap issues, but they're definitely kind of maxed out on what they can spend right now. And that's similar to Memphis too. I don't think they really 100% need to bring him back. I don't feel like he's as important to them as what he could be to another team. Not just that, I already know there's going to be some team out there that I think will legitimately be looking to do what the Atlanta Hawks did a couple years ago, where they signed like five players and used like $60 million in cap. I don't, I don't know if you guys remember that. When they brought in like Danilo Gallinari, you know, made the Clint Capella trade. Um, I think Simon Rashawn Rondo as well. That was the time where they like did all of those things. And again, they brought in Bogdanovich as well. There definitely will be that team out there that will just go and absolutely stack their bench or something like that in free agency. A team, you know, maybe even like the Washington Wizards, who I think, you know, they'll have Bill and Kristaps on the max and Kyle Kuzma on about... 10 million dollars or so per season but again considering they've got players like thomas bryant who's on like 13 million i think he will be a free agent um they're looking to potentially trade rui hachimura it was said uh, i think even players like ish smith and that are on a couple million they might all go and they might just absolutely fill out their bench um of course you know that is one of the big teams the other team is the portland trailblazers who i think will have the most cap going into free agency. As far as I know, the only two players they've like got contract is Damian Lillard on like 40 something million and Hart on around, I think 11 million, which means I think they've got like $60 million in cap. Of course, they're going to bring back Simons. I think they bring back Nurkic, but then they'd still probably have like another 30 million or so to spend 40 million. And yeah, they could even look at a dude like Tyus Jones. That's why I don't think Jones will potentially come to Cleveland. I just don't think they would necessarily want to play a pay a player like him, maybe six million, because I think they're gonna rather use that cap to maybe go after like a forward type of player instead. Because they've already got as well, which I have not yet to mention, the Ricky Rubio situation. And for those of you who don't know what I mean by the Ricky Rubio situation, essentially Rubio could be potentially coming back to the Cavs on about a minimum contract, and of course will hopefully be back before the season starts, and then Colin Sexton can also play some backup point as well. So, that's the way that I see it. Unless Ricky Rubio decides, hey, I'm going to go um, play for Barcelona or whatever and go play with Dante Exum and Miritich, I don't think he, you know, I don't think the Cavaliers will get Tyus Jones. 
And look, that is legitimately realistic, you know. Ricky Rubio has already talked about potentially retiring in two to three years from the NBA. Talked about wanting to raise his son in Spain. And considering, I believe, both Barcelona and Real Madrid, um, you know, uh, basketball teams, I believe, are both in Spain. I think he could, you know, definitely go play for, you know, one of those teams or something if it really did come to it. And yeah, again, who knows what Ricky Rubio is going to do. I think it will either be the Cleveland Cavaliers or, uh, you know, a Spain team he'll probably go to. Even if another team offers him a deal, I don't think he's in it for the money or anything. I think he's in it for his happiness. And he really liked Cleveland and he, I think, obviously really likes his home. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with him. If he re-signs, I don't think there's much point of, you know, getting Tyus Jones. If he goes, then 100%, the Cavaliers should offer Tyus Jones like a $6 million per year type deal. The Cavaliers will already be looking to trade Jetty Osman, it looks like. I'm not sold on Dylan Winlaw. I think they will trade him as well for like a second or something, um, or just for cash considerations, maybe. That will be two roster spots available, you know, right there as well. Um... You've already got Ed Davis, who'll be a free agent. That's three. Um, yeah, there could definitely be about three roster spots, I think. And even Rondo. I don't think they'll bring back Rondo. So, yeah, maybe actually four. Four roster spots the Cavaliers might need to fill out. Ricky Rubio or Tyus Jones, I think, will definitely get one of those spots. And I guess we'll just have to wait and see how they, of course, do go about this. And what team offers Tyus Jones a deal? And mark my words, legitimately mark my words right now, I ultimately would not be surprised if a random team out there even offered him a little more and did like $8 million per year. Because I think Tyus Jones is that good. I think he is one of low-key, one of the best backup point guards in the game. And if you needed him to start, he could definitely do that, you know, to fill in for an injured player. But to get a dude that can average like 9 points per game, tries his absolute hard out on defense, 4.5 assists, nearly 40% from three off your bench and does it consistently, that is realistically a very, very good thing to have. And yeah, could even be a play, maybe even the Lakers look to try and target. But again, I don't think they're going to have the cap unless they somehow find someone who'd take on Westbrook's booty-ass contract. The Clippers could be a, a team as well. Um, the Pelicans might be looking for a backup point. I think they might be looking to move on from Devontae Graham. That could be another situation right there. So many different type of moves. I'm really interested to see. But yeah, ultimately, I think Tyus Jones will, you know, go to the Cavaliers. Only if, though, Ricky Rubio goes to a Spanish team and doesn't look to race sign with the Cavs. Which, again, I would understand happiness comes first. And honestly, those Spanish teams are probably paying as much as the NBA teams are now for a minimum contract. So... I wouldn't even be surprised if Rubio did choose that, you know, alternative option. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think Tyus Jones would be a really, really good move for the Cleveland Cavaliers? Um, or do you guys think he might go to a different, you know, team here and there? Again, I would definitely really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channel, which I'll all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.